Hello, my divinities. <clears throat> I know it's been some time since I did Zodiac readings, so I'm trying to put in some messages. I'm going to make them timeless, though, because, you know, time is fluid and we all have different natal charts, so it's going to apply differently to different people. And that way we can, you know, reach a bigger scope. And not only that, but I'm going to make them a little shorter only because in the past, you know, I was so concerned with making them long and really detailed that I didn't have energy to do more or I would run out of energy really quick. So I'm going to make them shorter so that I don't forget to do your Zodiac readings. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully y'all appreciate the time and the energy and y'all don't start complaining about the length of the videos. So let's see. What's the message for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know right now? Talisman, 49. Okay. Storm Fields, number 9. And 29. 9 is very present. 29, 49, number 9. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, let's start with number 29. Coming to life. So this card says, something beautiful is being born in your life. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least, matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time and spirits' timetables rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must not try to coax it along. No, you must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's look at Talisman, number 49. So this one says, a lesson learned is a lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and knows how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. Very good. And number nine, Stormfields. <clears throat> Stormfields says, this too shall pass. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent-up energy needs release just as a storm in nature must break. For these events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little. Hmm. Okay. So I definitely feel like a shakeup is in order. I just don't think it's going to be a bad one. I think that a tower moment is headed your way, but it's a lot more positive than you may think. Let's see. What's the message for Taurus? No. What's the message for Taurus? Oh. <laughs> we start with the Six of Cups. Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles, The Fool, and the Two of Wands. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, wow, King of Cups. Um, We have a whole family here. So I don't know if this is indicating issues you're having with your spouse or your siblings. 
whatever it is, you have plans for it. You have, you're making preparations for it. So we've got the Six of Cups. Um, whatever it is that's about to change in your life, you're not only ready, but it's it's aligned with you. It's something that was written in your soul contract. It's something that was written in your Akashic Records, basically. It doesn't matter what it is. With the Four of Swords... I think that you've pretty much understood this um, because this shows somebody meditating and there's even like this energy glowing around him because I feel like you have put in a, a plenty of time to meditate, astral travel possibly, have lucid dreams, and you've been receiving downloads that let you understand what it is that's coming to life for you. Page of Pentacles, I do feel like you're a little apprehensive because whatever it is that's coming your way, you feel like, I don't have a lot of experience with this particular thing, so I don't know how I'm going to do. That's the fear. The fear is that it's going to be too big for you. But you are divinely inspired. Whatever the downloads are that you're getting, they come from divinity. This is yours. This is meant to be yours. And if you notice, I love this Four of Pentacles because look at her. She is, it's like she is burying. She's got this secret box that she just unburied. She's got the key to open it. So I feel like talisman also represents this key. You have the key. You're the one that has the answers to be able to unlock this gift that the universe is giving you. All it requires is you taking a leap of faith. Not just receiving the inspiration, but doing, preparing for it, doing the work that will lead to, remember the Ace of Wands at the two is the three. So if you wanna grow, you put in the work that comes with the inspiration, and then you get to the four, which is reaching a milestone, reaching um, stability. So let's see. Clarify two of wands. Six of cups again. Clarify two of wands. Wheel of fortune. <laughs> Ten of pentacles and the sun card. Look. Although you are and some fear, and a little bit of doubt. For the most part, I feel like you are aware that you can do this. You're aware. It's like this is something you've wanted ever since you were a child. This is a dream you've had. You know it's yours. You can feel it. It's, it's destined for you. It's in your fate. And it's going to give you, this is your legacy. Now, I don't know if by legacy, it means like you're building a family. For others, this could be the dream team at work. For others, this could be, uh, I don't know. There's some sort of thing you're pulling off that's going to be a legacy for you. You've got Leo energy here with the strength and the sun card. This is going to make sure that you never doubt yourself again. Whatever the outcome of this is, it's going to be so massive. And keep in mind, massive is subjective, depending on what the project is, right? So massive, as in maybe the person you're going to meet is going to be the love of your life. Or maybe the project you turn in is going to get you promoted and everything changes in your life. The point is, it's massive to you. You'll never doubt yourself again after this. Because we do have five pinnacles. There is a little bit of an energy of, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Clarify six of cups. 
King of Cups, clarify Six of Cups. Six of Swords. Wow. Six of Cups, Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles. <laughs> six, six, six. The Queen of Swords. Four and the Knight of Wands. It doesn't really matter whether this is love or this is professional or anything else. You're not going for things that are flashy and that are momentary. You want something of more substance. You want something, um, something intellectual. You want an intellectual, if this is a work project, you want people on that group that you know complement your mindset. They can see your blind side and you can see theirs. <clears throat> um, if this is a lover, you want the type of person that mentally stimulates you, uh, someone that you can have a great conversation with. If this is a, a family member that maybe you are gonna build a business with, it doesn't matter who you offend, you're gonna make sure you pick the right family member, the one that compliments you not what anybody else thinks. Now, I know for some of you who have a religious background, 666 seems like a terrible number, but in numerology, six is actually the number of Venus, which might be, you know, why people think is demonic because it's, um, Venus can be connected to lust and sex and things like that. But more than anything, it's, it's love. So whatever this is for, you love this. Whether it's a person, whether it's a project, whether it's a company, whatever it is, you love this. Or it loves you. I think this is going to go a lot smoother than you think it is. <laughs> it's also going to start paying you back faster than you think. Which is part of what's going to help you realize this is meant for me. Because you already know, but it's like you know, but there's also hesitation. Like, um, think of it like this. I'm getting a mental image of you being pushed along into several rooms. And in the rooms, there's contracts with your name on it, your date of birth, your picture. You know it's for you. So you're like, yeah, yeah, you're signing the contract. But a piece of you is like, what am I getting myself into? That's what I feel. <laughs> But once you keep going and you realize the results that are going to start showing up, you're like, oh, oh, no, this really is for me. Clarify Four of Swords. <laughs> right after I say 666 is not evil, we get the devil. <laughs> Don't fear. It's not, what it, it's not what you think it means. Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups. Okay. Whatever it is, there's a lot of fear here for you that you've been trying to quell, you've been trying to calm, um, but it is quite strong. And this fear is stemming from, is this going to be, let's say if this is a relationship, because we did get the, the page, queen, and the king. And now we've got the king and the queen on the table again. Not a coincidence. So let's say this is love. It could be that you two are coming at love from different angles. This king could be coming at love in a flirty, playful way. You could be coming at it from a very poetic, um, sweet-natured crush type of thing, blushing, a little shy. And it could be that there's misunderstandings between you two. So it's made you nervous and you just got to the point where you're like, nope, nope, there's nothing here. Nothing to see. You've got a little cold. You've possibly rejected this person because you've, <laughs> you feel that they're not serious when they are. Um... They possibly are very lusty, and that could be what makes you feel that they're just not serious. They don't want anything serious with you, but they do. 
It doesn't matter if they're the feminine or the masculine. King and Queen of Cups are showing up. And they showed up twice. There's definitely a strong... There, look, look, look. I'm just going to tell you. There's a very strong sexual connection between you two. But there's also an emotional connection between you two. Now, if this is not love then whatever it is, you're very passionate about it. And because you're passionate, you might think it's not going to last. It's too good to be true. Clarify Page of Pentacles. See, I told you that four on the page was the five. There it goes. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Look, what did I, I just said it. Did I not just say it's too good to be true? There's somebody that you feel hella attraction for. Like, hella. Hella attraction. You feel like you received exactly what you asked for, but you're blocking it off because you're like, that's a fantasy. It's too perfect. There's got to be something wrong with it. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're waiting for something to go really wrong. In reality, the lesson that you're meant to learn, the reason it feels like chaos, the reason it feels like it's so huge, is because you're afraid you're not enough for it. You're afraid that you might receive it, but you won't be able to hold on to it. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a promotion, whether it's a person, whether it's a position, you're afraid that you can receive it, but you might not be able to hold on to it. And so you're not even sure you want to manifest it in the beginning. Like you don't want to move forward. You're, you're scared of moving forward. You're terrified actually of moving forward. Because if you do, the pain of the loss will be too much. So you're kind of rejecting it right now. Like, no, no, there's no way that this is for me. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm nobody. <laughs> This is, I'm just a worm. <laughs> Let's see. Clarify Ace of Wands. Clarify Ace of Wands. Nine of Wands. High Priestess. Seven of Cups. With the six of wands. <sighs> With the six of wands energy, <sighs> you are conflicted. That's the conflict because with the six of wands, you know that this would be like if this is a promotion. You know, you'd be so proud to like tell your family and your friends, like I got promoted. Whatever this is, you feel like I would be so proud if this if this really is for me. But you've been disappointed so many times. Honestly, that's a human thing. But you've been disappointed so many times that you're just not sure. Just not sure it is for you. With the High Priestess energy, you have a feeling it is. Your intuition tells you it is, but you're like, what if it's a fantasy? What if I'm lying to myself? What if I want it to be mine? And that's why I'm lying to myself when in reality, it's not meant to be mine. So you're kind of, yeah, you're going in circles. Mentally, you're going in circles. <laughs> Clarify Four of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Four of Wands. Look at that full card. These are literally opposite energies. One energy is saying, you're like, nah, fuck that. I don't want it. The other energy is saying, this is a gift. I'm moving forward. I'm taking a leap of faith. <laughs> I think this is what you're going to do. This may be what you're doing now, but this is what you're going to do because the Fool is the last card. Once you take the leap, 
once you're brave enough to put yourself out there, even if it's a little message, even if it's a little bit, once you're brave enough to accept that I've just got to do something because this is coming to life no matter what. And apparently I'm the only one that has the key to unlock this. You'll Once you take a leap of faith, you'll see. Clarify the fool. Let's see. Two of wands. <laughs> three of wands. Ooh, three of swords. With a queen of pentacles. This is a mix. Because I feel like Queen of Pentacles energy is very nurturing. This is somebody who knows how to invest. They know how to put the work in. But almost like they feel like you don't think that this is important. Look at that. They don't they don't trust you. <sighs> or you don't trust them. There's potential here because we got the Ace of Wands, we got the Two of Wands twice, we got the Three of Wands, we got the Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. <laughs> so the Eight is the one that's missing because we also got the Nine. The Eight and the Ten, the communication is missing. Because <laughs> there's preparations here and there's like somebody waiting. But you know what? It's almost... Like you're waiting for the other person to make the move first. And that's why you're sitting here in heartache. Because you're like, why aren't they making a move? You're trying to... Um, you're trying to manifest them making a move. But I think the universe is like, no, honey, no. You make the move. Take the leap of faith. Because otherwise this person is going to think that you're not serious. And they won't take you seriously. Because you show up with all the emotion, but if you show, if you notice, this person is the one showing up with Queen of Pentacles energy. You're not. You're not matching them. So they don't think that you're serious about this. Mm. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you. Hopefully um, that gave you plenty to think about and process. And um, I hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know what you think. Please make sure to react, comment, and share. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.